So we've lost 1-0 to Sunderland. Terrible performance by the team. Um, no blame for Ryan Giggs. It's his first job in management, so obviously he's going to make mistakes. It's all part of the learning process. Uh, but the tactics were poor today. He's going back into the Moyes era of just crossing the ball. Everything was slow. After Yanazai came on and then Welbeck came on, it sort of quickened up a bit. But generally, you know, in the first half, it was so slow and so boring and there was no creativity. I thought Giggs showed a bit of naivety in his substitutions of bringing on um, Welbeck and Van Persie. Fair enough, bring them on. But then he took off Mata, who was a number 10. So you had three strikers on the pitch, but no number 10 creative in the middle of the park to feed the ball to those players. So that was a bit of naivety. But like I said, no blame for Ryan Giggs. Uh, even before the game, I, would th I thought that, you know, it's not the right time for him to be the permanent manager of Man United. That's just being a bit too, you know, caught up in the moment. Um, he hasn't got any experience of winning trophies as a manager or managing in a big club. We need, we can't take a risk at the moment. We need somebody like a Van Gaal or an Ancelotti. We don't get Ancelotti, but like a Van Gaal who's got experience, who can take on this and spend this money and sort of fix the squad and be ruthless and get these players out. Um, so Ryan Giggs maybe as a coach and then later on we'll see but err on the side of caution you know recently no top Man United players have gone on to become top top managers Roy Keane, Paul Ince, Steve Bruce, Brian Robson, Mark Hughes they're all examples of never making it at the top top level as managers um, and the players as well you know there's a saying once that you know as a player if you play for the badge on the front people will always remember that your name on the back and a lot of players didn't play today they were thinking of the summer holidays or the world cup they didn't put in a shift um and nanny and young you know two probably the worst wingers uh you've seen in recent times in a man united shirt you know they played appalling they weren't even looking up to see if what should i do with this ball where shall i put it they were just just hoofing the ball up crossing it just hitting and hoping you know anyone can do that and it was poor today um and you know silver lining is Tottenham lost before our game so if we had won all our games we would have overtaken them and got the Europa League spot which I don't think we should be get we should hope be getting because that'll impact on next season so we've lost today so we matched Spurs results so hopefully that'll go away to uh, helping us avoid the Europa League spot but obviously it's never good to lose and you should never try to lose but a poor performance by the team um, and you know Ryan Giggs needs to get into the players and uh, try and fix it for the next game and you know need some consistency now I think that's the 52nd or 53rd game this season now all of the games where the same 11 hasn't played for the next game